Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the third video as part of our series of video of the playlist of power of data analysis. So in the last video, we saw account squared off and how we can leverage that exceptional report. So in today's video, we will see yet another exceptional report where basically it is related to the master comparison with the previous year master structure let us go to tally and explore the next option under verification of chart of accounts let us now explore the next report before we drill down to the next report which is not used now is where we have to bring the previous year's company also to have a comparative analysis of the accounting masters let us access the report again the purpose of verification of chart of account is to view any exceptional or out of normal pattern of master structure such that we can clean up the same and remove redundant masters and have only active masters observe the screen here we are viewing five reports now let us see how we can get the previous years company here first if you have both the years in the same company tally will automatically recognize previous year data and will display the previous year here as i had mentioned earlier that i have split company whereas there are two companies the first company of current year is selected here currently and my previous year is in another company to select the previous year company from the right hand side button bar here click on compare company and since my previous year is in the same folder it is listing out my previous year company just in case if you have your previous year data in a different folder and if you don't want to copy the previous year in the current default folder you can always press backspace and go to the path and only thing unlike the option given in the go to where you can specify the path or you can select from the drive here it does not give you the facility to select from the drive so what you have to do is like the way we were using the windows explorer screen where we used to copy the path and you can come here and paste the path here so that you can select your previous year company which is in the different path in my case i am going to just select the previous year company and press enter once i select the previous year you will see that in the analysis period the current year is 1st of april 23 to 31st march 24 and the previous year company it also gives the name of the company where it is very clearly says this previous year the name of the company i have selected as 2022-23 in the bracket previous year for us to understand better now observe here that once we have selected the previous year data the number of report is increased from five earlier what we saw when we selected only the current year now there are nine reports that you can use for exceptional management so in today's session we are going to see the next report which is not available in the current year and there are five ledgers which are participating in this exceptional report so let us select this report and go into the report let us understand the purpose of this report and derive what kind of information we can infer this report provides the lists of ledgers which were created in the previous year and they could have been transacted in the previous year but these same ledgers are not available in the current year which means these ledgers have been deleted in the current year's data the ledger advertisement expenses discount and rather techno services if you notice even in the previous year there is no transaction but the ledger audit fee has transaction in the previous year the closing balance of the ledger is displayed here and also it provides the last date of voucher entry in the previous year similarly you will see that sundry expenses also there is transaction in the previous year and the last date of transaction is 
31st of March 23. As these ledgers are revenue ledgers, the balances will not be carried forward in the current year as we are aware. What is the inference we can derive from this report? A. If you take the ledger audit fee. Audit fee is an annual expenses and if we observe here last year audit fee transaction has been made and the amount is also shown. Why this year the ledger has been deleted or while finalizing the books of accounts for the current year, the company is not made provision for audit fee and the ledger has been deleted in the current year. Now, if the management or accountant is viewing this report, they can create audit fee ledger and make provisional entries as part of finalization of books of accounts before the same is being pointed by the auditor during the audit. The next ledger sundry expenses it's basically a ledger used to transfer small amounts outstanding in certain ledgers while finalizing the books of account in the previous year hence it is okay if this ledger has been deleted if required they can create again and use during the finalization of current year books of accounts note in the previous report, we saw verification status and we were able to capture verification note. But since these ledgers are not available in the current year, in this report, you cannot set verification status. And also, there are no transactions for these ledgers. So you cannot view the transactions using Alt Enter or you can't even view the master information through Control Enter button. In the next video, we shall explore the next report which is not used and we will understand the relevance of this in the next video. I hope this report of not available in the current year in comparison with the previous year we were able to analyze what are the ledgers which are not available in the current year or probably deleted and we also saw a couple of ledgers where there has been a transaction in the previous year but you can analyze why this particular ledgers were deleted in the current year. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.